good day. We are the group one. We are here today to discuss the call reg rule one, two, and three. Here are the presenters. Deck Cadet Adlawan Emanuel, Deck Cadet Aguka Jr., Deck Cadet Alulu Jr. Josue, and lastly, Deck Cadet Altes Johnson. Course MTEC 101, period prelim, with a schedule MW 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. 51561. Topic Colreg 72. Rule 1 to Rule 3 Course Outcomes To help students enhance their knowledge, understanding, and proficiency for maritime transportation and to be able to help students in preparation for their shipboard training Learning Outcomes To be able to refresh past knowledge about Collision Regulations 1972 and to familiarize and gain knowledge about coal regs, Rule 1, 2, 3. Importance of the topic. To help students be able to recall, re-study, and familiarize parts of Part A of the coal reg. And to help students recall its applications, responsibilities, and definitions. Part A General. Rule 1, Paragraph A. These rules shall apply to all vessels upon the high seas and in all waters connected therewith navigable by sea-going vessels. Paragraph B. Nothing in these rules shall interfere with the operation of special rules made by an appropriate authority for road steeds, harbors, rivers, lakes, or inland motorways connected with the high seas and nav navigable by sea-going vessels. Such special rules shall conform as closely as possible to these rules. Special rules are, are local rules which apply to road steeds, harbors, rivers, or inland motorways. These special rules must conform as closely as possible with the 1972 regulations. Local regulations can be found in sailing directions, pilot books, guide to port entry, and etc. Paragraph C. Nothing in these rules shall interfere with the operation of any special rules made by the government of any state with respect to additional station or signal lights or whistle signals for ships of war and vessels proceeding under convoy or with respect to additional station or signal lights for fishing vessels engaged in fishing as a fleet. These additional station or signal lights or whistle signals shall so far as possible be such that they cannot be mistaken for any light or signal authorized elsewhere under these rules. Paragraph D. Traffic separation schemes may be adopted by the, by the organization for the purpose of these rules. For paragraph C. What type of ships can a government issue special rules? Here are the type of ships, ships of war, vessels under convoy, fishing vessels fishing as a fleet, lash vessels, floating drill derricks, floating docks, dracones, British submarines, aircraft carriers, and etc. Paragraph E. Whenever the government concerned shall have determined that a vessel of special construction or purpose can comply fully with the provisions of any of these rules with respect to the number, position, range, or arc of visibility of lights or shapes, as well as that to the disposition and characteristics of sound signaling, 
appliances without interfering with the special function of the vessel. Such vessels should co shall comply with such other provisions in regard to the number, position, range, or art of visibility lights or shapes, as well as to the disposition and characteristics of sound signaling appliances, as her government shall have determined to be the closest possible compliance with these rules in respect to that vessels. May I ask Deck Cadet Altis Johnson to discuss the next slide. Thank you so much, Cadet Adlawan. Rule number two, responsibility. Nothing in this rule shall exorate by the vessels or the owner, master or crew, tear off from the consequences of any rejection neglected or neglect company with these rules or any or any regret of any precaution which may have required by this ordinary practice of cement <clears throat> or by the special circumstance of the case b <clears throat> consisting and complying with these rules to regard shall be had to all the degrees of in navigation and the collusion to any special circumstances including the limitation of the vessels involved which may make a, de a departure from these rules necessary to avoid immediately danger. <clears throat> any, vessel any, any vessel power driving, sailing, small large. The aim of the rule number two is emphasize the need safety. Comply strictly with the rules. Take safety measurement required by good seamanship and particular circum circumstance. May I ask Cadet? May I ask Cadet Alulud to report rule number three? Thank you, Decadet Altis. Rule number three. General definitions. Paragraph A. The, the word vessel includes every description of watercraft, including non-displacement craft and seaplanes, used or capable of being used as a means of transportation on water. Therefore, any types of transportation on water is identified as vessel. In paragraph B, the term power driver power driven vessels means any vessel propelled by machinery. A vessel powered by machinery. So paragraph C I example. So that's the example. Uh, paragraph C The term sailing vessel means any vessel under sail provided that propelling machinery is fitted is not being used. So, if engine may not be running at all, they are applicable to use when sailing. In paragraph D, the term vessel engaged in fishing means any vessel fishing with nets, lines, trolls, or other fish fishing apparatus which restrict maneuver maneuverability but does not include a vessel fishing with trolling lines or other fishing apparatus which do not restrict maneuverability uh, so don't get near them instead change your course to avoid their fishing apparatus for paragraph d uh, in paragraph e the word seaplane includes any aircraft designed to maneuver on the water uh, seaplanes are also called vessel which they have Ability to transport on water. In paragraph F, the term vessel not under command means a vessel which through some exceptional circumstance is unable to maneuver as required by these rules and is therefore unable to keep out of the way of other vessel. For example, steering gear failure, engine failure, electrical supply system failure, fire, flooding, and stability issue. In paragraph G, the term vessel restricted in ability to maneuver means 
a vessel which from the nature of her work is restricted in her ability to maneuver as required by these rules and is therefore unable to keep out of the way of another vessel. Next slide, please. A vessel engaged in laying, servicing, or picking up a navigation mark, submarine, cable, or pipeline. A vessel engaged in dredging, surveying, or underwater operations. Number two, a vessel engaged in replenishment or transferring persons, provisions, or cargo while underway. Number three, a vessel engaged in the launching or recovery of aircraft. Number four, a vessel engaged in minesweeping operations. Number five, a vessel engaged in a towing, towing operation such as severely restricts the towing vessel and her low I, in tow in their ability to de deviate from their course. Next slide. Uh, may I ask Dick Cadet Agokoy to discuss the next slide? We can't hear you, please, on your mic. You know, Mike. Thank you for that, Cadet Alulud. For paragraph H, the term vessel con constrained by her drought means a power-driven vessel which, because of her drought in relation to the available depth of water, is severely restricted in her ability to deviate from the course she is following. In paragraph I, the word underway means that a vessel is not at anchor or made fast to the shore or aground. And for paragraph G, the words length and breadth of a vessel mean her length overall and greatest breadth. And this is the example of a deep drought vessel have, a, have little room to maneuver in our channel, and their clearance can be as little as one meter. For paragraph G, vessel shall be deemed to be in sight of one another only when one can be observed visually from the other. For paragraph L, the term restricted visibility means any condition in which visibility is restricted by fog, mist, falling snow, heavy rainstorm, and sandstorm, or any other similar causes. For paragraph M, mile means nautical mile. And this is the example for restricted visibility by fog, mist, snowstorm, rainstorm. And that's in our video reporting, sir, about the Coldrake 72, Roll 1, Roll 2, and Roll 3. Thank you for watching.